How's it going, fellas? Fez here, and we're back with another review. And welcome to 1968, because this is Mafia 3, and don't get me wrong, guys, it's not a great game, but it's definitely not a bad game at the same time. So over the next few minutes, I'm going to be talking about the good and bad of Mafia 3. The main thing I can take from Mafia 3 is it just doesn't really excel in any one area. The graphics aren't the best, the gameplay isn't the best, and the only thing that really is done well is the music. The music is great guys if you like this sort of music but I wouldn't really buy a game based on music so I wouldn't really put it in the good or the bad but it has some damn good music guys if you like that sort of era and that sort of music. Also guys leave in the comments below your thoughts and opinions on the game or whether you're thinking of buying it because if you have any questions about the game just leave in the comments below guys I'm more than happy to answer them if you want to know a specific thing about the game or anything like that. Just leave in the comments below and I'm more than, as I said, I'm more than happy to answer them. I'll answer them all if I get any. One last thing before we start, guys, is just don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because I'll be doing heaps of reviews or and gameplays and everything over all the major games. I pretty much play all the major, major titles. I'm going to be getting Titanfall probably and Battlefield and Call of Duty and all Christ, that sort of that stuff. So if you like those action games and sport bagging. games... Just leave a subscribe, guys. There's going to be Empire plenty Empire of gameplay over, over the England next few months because there's plenty of games coming out to sets. play. But anyway, guys, I've talked and well, raved long enough for this intro. The first thing you notice when you sit down and play Mafia for the first time is the graphics. Like, the graphics do stand out the first time you see them. They really do look amazing. The buildings, the characters, the cars, everything looks pristine. The amount of details in the textures and the shadowing in certain areas just looks great. And... The one problem I have with the graphics is the darkness at night. It is extremely dark at night time. You can't see the roads. The lighting of the cars isn't very good. It really makes it hard to drive around at night in certain areas where there isn't much lighting. It, it really takes away from driving at night at high speeds because you just don't see where you're going half the time. It's not a huge thing, but it would make the game better and just add a little bit more detail to the graphics. But overall, the graphics are great, guys. There is not a lot I can say great to look at, in my opinion. The, it is stunning. The, the sunsets that you get in certain times of the day just look remarkable. But other than that, guys, it's pretty much a standard PS4 looking game. The gameplay in this game isn't very good, guys, in my opinion. They do some stuff well and some stuff really, really bad. And I'm going to talk about the good before I get into the bad. And the good is pretty much the mechanics. The mechanics are fairly solid, guys. The, the shooting, the driving, the movement, everything like that feels solid. The cover system is quite well done, which is a good sign for a third-person shooter. But it lacks in other areas. It... It really has piss poor AI guys. The AI is atrocious. In sneaking mode or whatever it is when you're sneaking around, they don't even react to you. You can run through five guys and hit the target and run out before they even realize that you've even been there. And then when you have the gun in your hand, all you have to do is sit behind cover and they'll run at you one by one. Just one after the other. You shoot him and then a guy will go, oh, he's over there. And then one guy will run at you. The AI is atrocious, they really, it, it's to the point where it's nearly game breaking guys, that's one bad thing about this game because they're just so bad, I'm playing on medium, like I'm not the, the best player in the world but it, I like a bit of a challenge, this just isn't challenging at all and the next thing I want to talk about with this is the, the missions, they pr are pretty much the same thing, there's no difference in the missions at all, it gets so repetitive very quickly guys so if you like variations in the missions and things like that, it's not really here with this game. You drive to a to a location, you either trash the joint or you kill a guy. That's pretty much the two options that you have. It, it opens up a little bit later in the game, but that's pretty much it. There's not a lot to do in the game, in my opinion, at the start at least. It opens up a little bit later in the game, but you want it all the time. You don't want to be restricted at the start because that's when you've got to fall in love with the game but it just doesn't really suck you in at all one thing i do really enjoy about this game is the story the story is really detailed it does go into a lot of explanation at the start which really explains what's going on which really is a good thing because this is mafia but it doesn't feel like a mafia story it just feels like a different story with mafia just thrown into the title it 
I don't know. It just doesn't feel the same. Like Italy and The Godfather, and that's mafia. Like I, I don't know. It, it might just be me, but it just doesn't feel like a typical mafia story. But don't get me wrong, guys. Like the story is pretty good on what they're actually put into the game and what they're trying to sell, which is great. Like I love a detailed story, and I'm getting into the cutscenes again and. There's some crazy cutscenes, especially at the start when a when a big twist happens. I won't do any spoilers or anything, but it really is good, and that's the same with the cutscenes. The cutscenes look great, which is good, and that's where the game shines, in my opinion. That's the only reason why I'm playing this game, pretty much, is to see what happens in the story and just to find out what happened. The last thing I want to talk about before I end the video is just a few little little things that aren't really good or bad they're just a few different things in the game but the first thing i want to talk about is the murders my god the murders are brutal in this game when you get that machete you slice people's necks and everything if you're a younger person playing this game please take it in stance because it, man the the murders are brutal guys you f feed people to alligators and Oh, wow, it gets crazy. It's like Manhunt. If you've ever played a game called Manhunt, it's exactly like that. They don't hold back on the murders at all. Another annoying thing about this game is the button layout. Why is square to open a car door? In all action games like this, it's triangle to open doors. Hangar 13, come on, guys. You really need to... Uh, you can't fix it now. It's, well, you can probably change the buttons, but why isn't that just in the standard thing? Like, uh, I didn't change my buttons. I just thought of it then. But, uh, it's just stupid. Why? And why is L1 to change weapons? That's just, it's not a very good layout, guys. Like, come on. So, overall, the game is a pass mark, guys. Don't get me wrong. There is flaws in the game with the AI, and there's a couple of crashes here and there, and even some glitches as well. But... Overall, it, the game still holds itself up. It's an open world action game that really does the simple things right with the mechanics and the graphics and things like that. So you can get a solid game out of it. But the story is where the game holds its own. The story is pretty well done. It gets crazy in certain areas of the story, which is good. So if you're a fan of GTA and like some kick-ass tunes, this game is pretty much for you guys. It it's a breath of fresh air if you're sick of playing GDA. You won't play this game for long. It'll be maybe a week, two weeks, however long it takes you to finish the game, and then you'll put it on the shelf and trade it back in or whatever you used to do. It really isn't a game that you'll play for months and months and months. But for the first few days, you'll have a good time, guys. It is it is a great experience. Anyway, guys, I've talked and raved long enough. As I said before, if you subscribe to the channel, I'll be doing plenty of reviews and gameplays and just everything in between on heaps of action games and sport games over the next few months because this is when the time is november and christmas time is when the games come out let's play these games guys because even if you don't want to play the game and see what the game's like just come to the channel and have a look i'll be playing pretty much all of them so hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and if you like the video leave a like comment subscribe and i'll catch us later